How are you guys doing today? What are we going to do? Well, let me show you. I'm going to re-grease the bottom bracket on a Shimano Holotech 2 crank set. Show you how to do that, what's necessary. And I'm also going to change the chain ring on the inside because I'm going bike packing. I'm going to put more weight. I need easier gears in the mountains here in Taiwan. I have a 34, 34 tooth. I'm going to change the inside ring. So the best way to change the rings is take off the crank set. So we're doing two jobs. If you're here just for the crank set, any Holotech 2, Shimano 105, Altegra 6800, uh, R8000, uh, R9000, R9100, whatever your Shimano Holotech 2 crank set is, it'll apply for taking this off, regreasing the bottom bracket so it's smoother, and putting it back on. Uh, I'm going to do this after. It's an extra job I can do when the crank set is off. So you'll see two things here. Uh, the only thing for these chain rings on the Jura Ace is I need a Torx wrench, okay? Uh, the other ones, the Altegra 105, you can get away with basic Allen wrenches. That's what you're going to need. Allen wrenches, Torx, if it's the Jura Ace, okay? A rag of some sort and grease. It's a pretty easy job. The only special tool you'll need is this one. It's a special tool to take off the bearing tench uh, adjuster. Um, I'll leave a link right here uh, for the part number. Four or five bucks, really cheap. I'll show you how everything goes. Stick with me. Let's get at her. Rock and roll. All right, here we go. First thing you're going to have to do is drop the chain. Take it off the inside chain ring. Simple as that. The next thing is take an Allen wrench, find out what side, size fits, and loosen the left side crank arm. Now when you're loosening, don't loosen one bolt all the way. Go back and forth and loosen them at the same time. A little bit on one side, and then a little bit on the other side, until they're loose. You don't have to pull them all the way out. This is where you're going to use that tool that I showed you earlier. It should be a hand tighten and loosen, so just twist it and take this plug all the way out. That's what puts tension on the bearings. Don't lose it. Set it to the side. It's just sort of a plasticky sort of thing. The next thing, find something small. It can be a toothpick or just a small, I have a small uh, little wrench thing. You gotta pop this safety clip out. Just flip it up like this. Pop, there you go. That's there to protect you in case the bolts come loose, the crank arm won't come off. You don't even actually need it, but it's there anyway. So yeah, it is what it is. Simply wiggle back and forth, it should pop off. If it doesn't, lightly tap it with something like rubber or wood from the other side. Flip the bike over, uh, mine's pretty loose, it'll just pop out. But if you haven't had your crank set off in a while, you may have to tap it lightly. I'm using wood, but you can use a rubber hammer and lightly tap. But be careful, you don't want to hit the bearings. Flip the bike over again or go to the other side and simply pull the crank set out. There we go. From this point, you're going to want to do a lot of cleaning. So find that rag I mentioned before that you needed and clean everything the best you can. Now, depending on which chain set you have or crank set, uh, I'm going to do an extra job of taking the chain, the inner chain ring off. Now, you can skip ahead if you're just concerned with the crank set. This is a Jurace. It needs the Torx to unbolt in these bolts, I guess you call them, right? Uh, or you can use an Allen wrench if it's an uh, Altegra 105. At this point, also clean around the bottom bracket area. Um, check your bearings, see if they're smooth still. Maybe you'll have to replace the bottom bracket. Uh, mine are fine. So I'm just going to clean them of the old grease. Okay, now this is uh, the extra step I told you about. I'm going to replace the inner chain ring. I'm using the Torx, it's a Jurais. Simply, counterclockwise, unloosen all the bolts. Don't lose these things. I shouldn't be doing it on this thing here, but I am. Pull them off. I'm going to clean everything. 
Now, the next thing you're going to want to do before you put it back on is put grease on all the contact points where metal touches metal. Uh, this will stop any gr uh, creaks or anything that may come up in the future. It's just a good idea. A uh, light film of grease wherever the chain rings will contact the crank arms will eliminate or hopefully eliminate any creaking that may come up in the future. Now when you're putting these back on, there's little indicators. Now this is the outside, the large chain ring. There's a little bump or a chain catcher thing here. That will match up with the crank arm. So there's only one way to put it on. So look for something, that little bolt thing that I showed you. Now that that's on, uh, you're going to want to also put more grease on any contact points that the small or inner chain ring will uh, have as well. Um, yeah, just like you're seeing in the picture. Just a light film. I'm putting on a little too much, but uh, yeah, I'll wipe it off later. Now the inside one also has an indicator. This is the Jure Ace. There's a little white tab that'll line up with the crank arm. But if it's another one, it might be a little dot, but there'll be something to show you that it should be lined up with the crank arm. Now when you're putting the bolts back on, clean them first and then put a light film of grease on them so that they will come out later if you need to change them again. Also stops creaking. Tighten them. Now not too tight. You can check for the recommended torque settings on the internet. Uh, firm, but not super tight. You don't want to strip these. So as long as they're firm, not cranked, you can see what I'm doing here, that's close enough. Now let's put the crank set back on the bike. We'll start with the drive side, the right hand side. Make sure that you put the chain over the bottom bracket first. I sometimes make that mistake and I'm sure others have too. You'll have to put it back on again. Now put grease everywhere. This is a clean crank set and spindle. Grease everything where it's going to contact the bearings and also the threads on the left side. You can see about how much I'm putting on here. That's about the right amount. Now this should just push on. Don't force it through. You don't want to damage the bearing. So just wiggle it around as you're putting it on in the next step and push it through gently. I'm also greasing the surface of the bearings as well, just for a little extra safety or whatnot, smoothness, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Now push it on and make sure it's on all the way. I'm turning the bike around here and I'm going to put on the left hand crank arm. If you look inside the spindle, uh, there's only there's, there's a little hole where that catch, uh, that little safety pin will grab onto. I'll show you that in a sec here. Up closer, yeah, you see that little hole there? That's where that little pin will flip into. I'm just using a small little screwdriver to flip it in. I can't get my fingers in there. You can use anything that fits. There's no special screwdriver for this, just anything that'll fit in that crack. Push it down. The next step is to put back on the preload adjuster, the little plastic thing. Now don't use any wrenches. This is a hand to tighten process. That's the tool that you'll need right there. So just twist it on. Uh, don't crank on it tight. You're not tightening it. This is putting uh, pressure on the bearings. So turn your crank tighten it, should be firm, it's hard, a little hard to turn at this point, wiggle the, back, the crank set back and forth, make sure there's no play, and if there is, tighten it up a bit. It should be a little bit of a firm tight tightness on this tool. And then when you've got the perfect setting where the crank is still smooth but doesn't wiggle left and right, it's adjusted. Now you go back to the Allen wrench to tighten the left crank arm, the same process, tighten both sides, flipping it over. Tighten one side a little bit, then the other side. Tighten them at the same time. Don't do one bolt all the way first. Go back and forth. This is similar to the chain rings where it's firm but not super cranked. You don't want to strip the bolts. If you're unsure, never done it before, check the recommended torque settings. I've done this many times. I sort of know how much it's supposed to be. Firm. That's what I like to say. 
At this point, you just simply put the chain back on and it's a done job. There you go. All right, you guys, take it easy. Any questions, feel free. And uh, yeah, that one deserves a beer. Bye-bye.